Yesterday, we learned that on October 2nd, Megan had visited Girls Inc., which is an American non-profit organization which encourages girls to be strong, smart, and bold through advocacy and direct service. My family, that's what we learned yesterday. And my family, Megan, while she was, my family speaking to the young girls there, and they were all, you know, talking through a bunch of scenarios that they have experienced, Megan shared and talked about being one of the most bullied people in the world. Now, my family, what Megan said has uh, grabbed so much headlines about what Megan said, about her being one of the most bullied people in the world. And my family, Carnival of so-called expert Niall Gardiner, my family, who works at the Heritage Foundation and also earns money from this ongoing hate campaign targeting Harry and especially Meghan, responded to what Meghan said by saying this, and I quote, According to some of our own staff, of our own former staff, on both sides of the Atlantic, Meghan Markle is a bully and that she is in no position to be lecturing on this issue. Now, my family, if there's one thing you should know about these people, people like Nagarina, there is nothing that these people won't do to continue with this hate campaign because it makes them money, because it earns them a living. My family, and they make so much money, sadly, from this ongoing hate and smear campaign that they are waging on orders of William and Charles against Megan. Remember, Megan is the main target. Megan is the one they are trying to destroy. Megan is the one that the hell bent my family in trying to break. You know? And remember, also one thing that you can always note is that whenever they accuse Megan of being a bully, they never ever mention names of people that they say that Megan has bullied. Never. Never, ever, 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 ever. My family. They only ever quote the words of uh, Jason North, someone, my family, who worked for Prince William. Someone who Thomas Markle confessed was his contact at the palace. And that's how he, my family, and other individuals were trying to stop Meghan and Harry's wedding. You know, that there was a plot to mess up Harry and Meghan's wedding. To prevent Harry and Meghan from getting married. My family. You know, and that Thomas Markle, someone who calls himself Meghan's father, was part of the plot to mess up Meghan's wedding. My family. Whereby, Jason North said, and I quote, that, um, you know, she wrote to my father, Prince William, that uh, he was concerned that the Duchess was able to bully two personal assistants out of the household. My family. Now, of course, Jason North, my family, has never ever backed up his uh, words, my family. And also, the people he said were bullied. When they found out what Jason North had done, my family, like a uh, file a complaint against Megan, they asked for that complaint to be rescinded. Why? Because it was all a lie. It was all a lie. And my family, Jason North is the only person 
that they ever quote. The only person that they ever quote. And th that person was not the one who was bullied. He was not the one who was bullied, my family. So really, my family, nobody, no, I mean nobody, nobody by name has ever come out and said, I was bullied by Megan, nobody. I want to repeat that. And I also want to emphasize this for people to be able to understand this even more. My family, nobody has ever come out and said, I was bullied by Megan. Jason of also was not bullied by Megan. He said that he wanted to make a complaint on behalf of others, which is weird because when he did that, the people who he said were bullied came out and told Jason Noff that you need to resign that complaint. And that is what happened. Because my family, they were lying. They were lying. They were lying about Megan. Because there was a campaign to destroy her with lies. And Jason Noff is the same person who issued a statement against Megan in court. And he could only have done that. He could only have done that with William's approval. And he did what he did to assist a tabloid, Daily Mail, that even Harry blames for putting Megan through so much stress that Megan and Harry lost their unborn child. A tabloid that my family we have seen writing the worst form of abusive racist, misogynistic articles targeting Megan. This tabloid, Daily Mail, bullies Megan on a daily basis, every single day. My family. So, William was trying to assist a tabloid to win its case that Megan had filed against the Daily Mail. Megan won anyway. But I won't ever forget Megan's words in the Harry and Megan documentary. Whereby Megan was telling Prince Harry, it's your brother. It's your brother. It's your brother. I'm not going to say anything about your brother, but it's all obvious. It's him. And my family, Megan, was opening our eyes to who was the person, to who is the person behind this constant attacks on her, William. William was never ever wanted to see Harry Megan married. William, who tried to do everything in his power to stop Harry Megan from my family getting married. You know? My family, who can forget? My family, who can forget? And also, let me remind you, my family, what uh, Thomas Markle, my family, said himself. Let me remind you what... Um, Thomas Markle said, my family himself, about what he tried to do to his own daughter, Megan, my family. So, um, that, may, that may have been one of the things that upset her. And of course, the photographs were a setup. I was uh, uh, set up by a guy named Jeff Rayner and um, um, uh, another guy named Dylan Howard, who was. Uh, with American media, I think. And the whole thing was a plan to actually mess up the wedding. Uh, My family, the whole thing was a plan to mess up his daughter's wedding. Uh, uh, another guy named Dylan Howard, who was uh, with American media, I think. And the whole thing was a plan to actually mess up the wedding. Uh, I was just part of it, basically. I was just part of it, says Thomas Markle. My family also, Thomas said something even more than that, my family. He even said something, my family, more than uh, that, my family. Can you please hear this kindly? The royals on me. Um, 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 the royals owe me. The Royals owe me. This is someone who my family said that his only contact at the palace was Jason Noff. He's the person who said that. His only contact 
at the palace is Jason North. And then he says that the royals owe me. The royals owe me. And my family, his palace contact, Jason North, is the same same person, my family, who took it upon himself to accuse of Megan of bullying and this person and that person. And then the people, when they found out what Jason North had done, whereby he filed a complaint against Megan, they told Jason to resign that complaint. Why is that, my family? Why is that? And really, there has never ever been anyone who's come out, my family, whereby you can see their faces and say, I was bullied by Megan. Nobody. Nobody has ever come out and said, I was bullied by Megan. But why was this done? Why did the palace falsely accuse Megan of bullying? And they did this right before the Oprah interview with Harry Megan. Why? Why did they do what they did? And remember, that interview, Harry and Meghan took part in that interview. But who did they go after? They went after Meghan. Remember, they know what Meghan, Charles and William have made it very clear. And even you can read Harry's mama's spare. Charles and William have made it very clear they don't want Meghan in the royal family. They don't want Meghan even as Harry's wife. So when you see all these rumors of separation, divorce, remember, this is the end goal. This is what the firm have been trying to achieve for so long, to, do, to get Harry Meghan to divorce. They, they are trying that every day. And what are they doing? They are targeting Meghan in particular. They are abusing Meghan in particular while saying some kind of things about Prince Harry because it is Harry who they want back. It is Prince Harry who they're trying to send a message to that Harry, Harry, you are welcome, not Meghan. Harry, Harry, you are welcome, not Meghan. And they are also trying to push Meghan to her limits by saying, I am done with this. To make her think or believe that if she leaves Prince Harry, all these attacks on her will stop. My family, let me say this. If UK Media never ever left Harry's late mother alone, even after she and Charles got a divorce, with the kind of obsession they have on Meghan, with the kind of money they make of Meghan, do you think honestly that even if UK Media or the firm or William or Charles get what they want and Meghan files for a divorce from Prince Harry, do you think that they'll leave Megan alone? The answer is no. The answer is no. The answer is no. The answer is no. But still, my family, we can see time and time again. And this has been going on for years right now, for many, many years now. My family, we see that the attacks on Megan are, my family, excessive. Way, way more excessive even than even my family, the attacks that, you know, my family... Harry receives or gets from UK Media because UK Media want Harry back. They want him back. They want Harry to believe that the doors are wide open for him, that he can come back. And they want Megan to know that she is unwelcome. And Megan has gotten the message. She has gotten the memo. And that's why even for two years now, my family, ever since the Queen passed away, Megan has not being seen publicly in the UK. And that tells you what you need to know. Megan has gotten the message. You know? But still, Harry and Megan are together. And UK media don't like that. Because for as long as Harry and Megan are together, wherever they are, wherever they travel to, they will always be influential. Always, 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 their star power shines brighter and brighter and brighter, even every single moment that they're together. My family, and it shows really, because even UK Media, my family, Kate made an appearance just a couple of days ago. But do you know who UK Media are still talking about? Megan. Megan. Megan and her, and her red dress, my family. You know, that's who. They are still talking about. And that's why I'm saying this. Even if Megan were to leave Prince Harry, even if Megan were to get fed up with the abuse, the insults, this bullying of 
you know, what she has experienced all these years, even if Megan gets fed up with everything and says, I'm done, UK media will still not leave her alone. I don't see it happening. I don't see it happening. And my family, really, why did the farm falsely accuse Megan of bullying right before the Oprah interview? They did that to undermine Megan's credibility when she spoke up. Remember, anyone with an ounce of common sense, my family, just look at Talk TV, GB News, Daily Mail, The Sun, The Mirror, the filth that they write every single day about Megan and Prince Harry. You know, just do a simple Google search. I can promise you, you'll, you'll find a hundred negative articles written about Megan. And it is bullying. What is happening is bullying. And this has been happening for eight years. So Megan speaks about being bullied, about being the most bullied person on earth. It's the truth. It is the truth. Honestly, I can't see anyone who is bullied more than Megan in this world. I, I just don't see it. I don't see it. And this is happening every single day. And this has been going on every single day for eight years now. For eight years now. For eight years now. This is what has been going on for eight years now. And my family, the bullies right now, after Megan has once again shared, shared a fact that she is the most bully person on earth. The bullies who bully Megan, the bullies who tried even to get Harry deported from the US and back to the UK, back inside the gilded cage. People like Niall Gardner, who right now are attacking Megan, calling her the bully. Yet they spend their time bullying Megan. My family are accusing Megan of bullying right after Megan shared that she is the most bully person on earth. And that they're saying that Megan should not talk about bullying. What message does that tell you? What message does that, you know, send you? For me, personally, it shows me that one of the reasons as to why the bullies who bully Megan and have been bullying her for years now, accused her of bullying, is that when she spoke up about what she went through, or whenever she speaks about her family, what she has to deal with every single day, this constant bullying that she experiences on a daily basis, that nobody believes her. That people disregard Megan, her family. Or people think that she deserves it. Based on this lies, that she is the bully. And my family, one thing that we need to understand and see, and even spread, is that nobody has ever come out to say she has been bullied by Megan. Nobody. But Megan, we see her face. We see what happens to her every single day. We see the abuse. We see the insults. And also, it is worth noting, my family, when these so-called nameless and faceless sources, my family, are from the palace are leaking, you know, abusing Megan, my family, they speak about Megan in a very, very, very derogatory manner, my family, in a very, very derogatory way, my family, whereby they're calling Megan disgusting, abusive, insulting nicknames. They're giving her, my family, insulting nicknames, you know? My family. Also, that is worth noting. For Megan, I have never ever heard her calling anybody or labeling anyone or giving anyone insulting, demeaning, abusive nicknames. But my family, you and I have heard and seen that so the so-called nameless and faceless sources have been using insulting, demeaning nicknames to describe Megan. My family, we've seen that with our own two eyes. We've seen that with our own, with our own two eyes. We have seen it. 
And the ones who do that are calling Megan a bully. Surely. 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 Come on. Make it make sense. Make it make sense, please. Make it make sense, please. I want to understand how is Megan a bully? How? How? You know? It's my family, really. What these people want to do, what people like Nagarna want to do is to continue monetizing this ongoing smear and hate campaign targeting Megan, meant to destroy her. And they need Megan to keep, to keep quiet. They want people to disregard Megan whenever she speaks about what she experiences on a daily basis because UK media want to continue exploiting and monetizing the hate campaign against Megan. My family. And uh, my family, what is happening is utterly wrong and despicable and it needs to be called out. More and more people need to come out and speak out against what my family is going on right now. These attacks on Megan have got to stop. It has got to stop, my family. It has really, really got to stop. The attacks and abuse that Megan deals with every single day, my family has got to stop. It has got to stop. I'm so sickened that the person, my family, who's been trying to get Harry deported, my family, whereby his bid has been extremely unsuccessful, and someone my family who I've seen with my own two eyes abusing Megan and Prince Harry, more so Megan, while praising K. Muston, now Gardiner himself, who bullies Megan every single day, doesn't want Megan to speak about what they're doing to her. What people like now Gardiner are doing to Megan. You know? My family, that's why it was so, so important for Megan to be able to share her own personal experiences about what she went through in the firm. About what she experienced in the firm. It was very, very important that Megan shared my family. You know, let me even read you if I'm what Harry said about this uh, lies about Megan. And they targeted, and they were targeting Megan in particular. I want to, my family, read you this, please, my family. You know? I want to read you this, please, my family. You know? And I quote, what Charles told Prince Harry, you know, that uh, there was always a but with Charles when it came to the press. Because he hated their hate, but oh, how he loved their love. One could make the argument that therein lay the seeds of the whole problem. Indeed, all problems going back decades. Deprived of love as a boy, bullied by schoolmates, he was dangerously, compulsively drawn to the elixir they offered him. Charles cited Grandpa as a stunning example. Avoid the press was in anything to get too vexed about. Poor grandpa had been abused by the papers, had been abused by the papers for most of his life. But now look, he was a national treasure. The papers couldn't say enough good things about the man. So that's it. Then just wait till you're dead and all will be sorted. That if you could just endure it, darling boy. For a little, a little while. In a funny way, they respect you for it. I laughed. All I'm saying is, don't take it personally. Speaking of taking things personally, I told them I might learn to endure the press. I even forgive their abuse. I might. But my own family complicity, that was going to take longer to get over. Pass office, Willie's office, enabling these fin, these friends of theirs, if not outright collaborating. Megan was apparently a bully. That was the 
latest vicious campaign that they had helped orchestrate. It was so shocking, so egregious that even after Megan and I demolished their lie with a 25-page evidence-filled report to human resources, I was going to have trouble simply shrugging that one off. Passed it back. Willie shook his head and they began talking over each other. We'll be down this road a hundred times, they said. You are delusional, Prince Harry. But they were the delusional ones. Even if, for the sake of argument, I accepted that Pa and Willie and their staff had never done one of a thing against me and my wife. Their silence was an undeniable fact. And that silence was damning and continuing and heart-trending. My family. So my family, as you can even see when I read you all this, the person who they are so hell-bent in destroying is Megan. But the person who they want in their midst, they say is Prince Harry. They want Harry around them, to be with them, to be in the raw fold. While my family, you know, distancing Harry from his wife. Because the fact is, Harry and Meghan together are a powerful couple. As I've said, my family, Kate made her appearance, my family, a few days ago with William. Do you think the papers are talking about Kate Moulton? No. <laughs> They're talking about Meghan's red dress. <laughs> That's who they are talking about. They are obsessed. They are fixated, my family. They are obsessed. You know? And that's a fact, my family. That's a fact. And the firm, William and Charles, who are known for being extremely jealous, when someone all the attention, all the spotlight is on them, are never ever going to want someone like Megan back. But they do know, however, that if they succeed in at least pushing Megan away from Prince Harry, by constantly going after her because Megan knows where all the attacks, all the abuse come from my family. It comes from William and Charles. Megan knows where all these attacks come from. They know that if they succeed in distancing Harry from Megan, my family, the work is done. That they would have succeeded in dimming Harry's light. That William also would have succeeded in destroying the spare's life. In destroying this pair's marriage. And that William knows he'll benefit from that. So my family, that's why even this push to get her and make her to get a divorce, it continues, family. It continues. And it will continue. It will continue. The firm wants this so badly. Even after Harry and Megan fled the UK more than four years ago, still, they're the ones, my family, you know, UK media are obsessed. All the attention is on Harry Meghan and that has triggered jealousy in the firm. They want all this to be over and it can be over if Harry and Meghan are together. My family, it can be over. And that's why there's a huge push. There's a huge push. There's so much pressure on Harry and Meghan's marriage, on Harry and Meghan's relationship whereby UK media and the firm, William and Charles, are trying to get Harry and Meghan to separate. By sending this message that Harry is welcome, but Meghan is not welcome. My family. Even if you're a person at home, my family, in this case, Meghan. And that message is pushed on you every single day. Every single day. That you are unwelcome. Every single day. And then you're having them saying, oh, your husband, however, is welcome. And they keep attacking you. Abusing you, abusing you every single day. My family, what is happening here is meant to affect Megan, to affect her mental health, to break her spirit, and to get her to leave Prince Harry. So, my family, you know, keep praying for Megan and Prince Harry. Keep praying for Megan and Prince Harry. Keep Wishing them all the best. I really hope that they never ever succeed in what they're doing to try and destroy Harry Megan's union. Harry Megan are a wonderful couple and keep praying for them every single day, please. Pray for Harry Megan on a daily basis, my family, and keep sending them, you know, good, my family, and positive vibe. 
I'm having positive vibes with family. Keep praying for Harry Meghan, the Duke and Duchess, my family of uh, Sussex. And so right now, I want to hear your opinion on what we have uh, just discussed. May God bless you, my family, and stay tuned to this video. Love you always and forever, and may no weapon form against Harry Meghan Archie. And also, Lilibet, Diana, my family, ever prosper. So my family, basically, as I end this video, bullies like Nagarina, my family have been bully mega for a long time, praising King Morton, are trying to convince others that Megan is the bully, that Megan is nobody talk about bullying because they want to continue what they're doing. And they want to silence her from speaking about what she experiences on a daily basis because UK media want to bully Megan and they don't want Megan to fight back. And they don't want Megan to even defend herself. My family, that is unacceptable. The bullying of Megan has to stop. And, you know, William and uh, Charles must stop the bullying of Megan. They must leave Megan alone. Let her live and walk in peace. My family, may God bless you all and stay tuned to our next video. And may no weapon from against Harry, Megan, Archie, and also Lilibet, Diana, ever prosper. Hello, members of Zisco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart, and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day, and I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.